In this video, we're going to look at the role of the LFO in a synthesizer. And like an envelope, an LFO is a modulator. It's a device there to control something else. An LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. And you might be asking, lower than what? Well, it's lower than the human hearing range. We usually consider human hearing to be from 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz. And the LFOs generally will run um, below that. So you'll run from maybe 0 hertz up to 20. Most LFOs do go a little bit faster, but the general range is to put it between 0 and 20 hertz. Now, it's controlling something else, and LFOs can control any parameter in your synthesizer. It really, it's, it's really varied what they can do. But one of the main usage is to create vibrato effects. And if you listen to any singer or violin player, the note is never really constant. It always varies up and down, kind of cyclically, over the course of the note. And we'll be applying LFO to control the pitch of our audio oscillator, which will give us that sense of vibrato, that sense of the, of the pitch changing cyclically over time. And it's a very important one, and it's going to be um, a, a capacity of most synthesizers you find. So let's check it out on our basic synthesizer here. Before I even look at the LFO though, I'd like to examine some real world audio and see why we might want to use an LFO. Um, what I've loaded up is a sample of a sung vocal phrase and we're going to look at it in the spectrum display. Remember in the spectrum display we see frequency up and down on the y-axis, time on the x-axis, and amplitude is demonstrated by the color of the sound that we see in here. And what I'm really looking for and listening for as this plays is what happens to the pitch during held notes. All right, so here we go. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I see it most um, during this one right here. We see that there's these constant variations in pitch. We can see that she's singing up and down various notes. We get an overall pitch contour. But even during held notes, we hear these little, we see these little variations. Let's see it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have this constant variation in pitch right here. And we call this variation in pitch vibrato. And it's a, it's, it's a component of most instrumental performances. We'll see it in vocals and guitars. Um, even like keyboard parts try to, em try to have this in there because it's so expressive. And to, we, we couldn't use the amplitude envelope. To get that, we need some other thing. We looked at the amplitude envelope, that would change the amplitude. We need to vary the pitch. And we do that with the frequency LFO. Now, if I didn't have the LFO, I could pull up, say, a sine wave, play a note, and just wiggle the frequency by hand. And we get pitch variations, but it's very hard to make them even enough and with the right amount to actually be a useful vibrato. So instead, we'll bring in the frequency LFO. Now, LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. And we had our regular oscillator before, right? This was our oscillator. And an oscillator is just something that repeats a shape over and over uh, quickly. And this, this oscillator is designed to be heard directly. And, and it does that by repeating the, the waveforms very, very quickly. Right now, this is set to repeat a sine waveform roughly 350 times per second. And remember, if we repeat something anywhere from 20 times per second to 20,000 times per second, humans are going to perceive that as a pitch. That's the range of human hearing. Well, the low frequency oscillator over here is designed to work at much lower frequencies. Um, and really, it's designed to work lower than the audible range. So it's designed to work maybe from 0 hertz up to 20. And that's, it, it can't be heard directly. It can, it, its effect can only be heard in that it actually changes other parameters. And this one is designed to change the frequency. Now, honestly, many LFOs get faster than 20 hertz. In fact, this one here in this synthesizer can go much faster than 20 hertz. And that can open up a wide variety of... Um, of different effects, but what we're really looking at is that slow movement, that kind of 0 to 20 hertz um, movement, which is where LFO, or low frequency oscillator, gets its name. So to create the kind of um, vibrato effect, I'll play that same note on the, the synthesizer, and this time I'm going to enable the sine wave mode in the LFO, and I'm going to bring up the mount slowly. Now that, remember, this frequency LFO is modulating or controlling or changing this frequency, but you won't see this move. That's one of the tricks with modulation, is that we're having the interaction of parameters, but you don't see it directly. You have to rely on your ear to hear what's going on. So let's hear. I'm going to play this and bring up a mount slowly. We hear a constant sine wave tone. And 
and amount is going to control the overall distance of that. I could also consider it the amplitude of my LFO, right? How big a swing is it going to be? And every LFO is going to have these kind of controls. It's going to have a destination, which I've hardwired to be the frequency of the oscillator. But you know, in a regular synthesizer, and you can have LFOs that can control a variety of things, can control filter frequency or amplitude. In this instance, to create a Verado effect, we have an LFO controlling the frequency of our audio oscillator. There'll be the frequency of the LFO itself. So let's try this again. So I can control how fast the low frequency oscillator is going, and I can control how wide a range it goes over. Now I can also change between a variety of different shapes. Um, sine wave or triangle are going to be good for giving us kind of typical vibrato shapes. But if I want to have um, you know a little more fun, do something that's not realistic, I might set something like a saw shape. And we get some other strange shapes that actually work very well in sort of electronic music um, situations. Now, another option here is kind of a square wave, which would create more of a trill, a jumping between two pitches rapidly. And the amount then is going to control how wide a leap is really made. So an LFO is very much like your oscillator. It has a frequency, it has an amplitude, amount is like your amplitude, and it has a wave shape. The only difference is the oscillator is designed to be heard directly, and the frequency LFO is designed to modulate something else. Um, an LFO is designed to modulate something else. The frequency envelope specifically is designed to modulate the frequency of our audio oscillator. And it can be used to create a variety of vibrato effects. Again, an LFO can control a variety of things. It doesn't have to be just the frequency of the oscillator. You can have one that controls filter cutoff to give you a series of wah-wah type effects. You can have one that controls amplitude to give you a tremolo type effect or control pan to give you an auto pan type effect. It's a very useful device. It's a general purpose modulator.